Hi everyone, welcome to Kitu Blogging and in this video I will show you how you can set up AdSense ad or sponsor ad in your WordPress website. So if you want to increase your CTR and boost your income, then you have to place the ad in the right place so you can get your user attention and get more click on your ads. So let's check how you can use a plugin called AdFoxly to set up ads in your WordPress website. So if you found this video helpful then make sure to hit the like button. So let's start the video. So first of all I will go to WordPress dashboard and I will install that plugin add Foxly. So I will go to plugins and I will click on add new and I can simply search for add Foxly. And you will find this plugin. So let's install this plugin. So I have already covered a video about add inserter plugin. It is also a good plugin to insert ad in your wordpress website so let's install this plugin first so either you can use ad inserter or you can use the ad fox link so let's click on skip here and this is how the setup screen looks like and here you will see a quick setup guide video so let's install our fast ad in our website so i will click on new ad wizard here and here you can place ad using a image you can simply upload a banner image and you can place it as an advertisement or you can use the google adsense or you can use custom html or css and javascript to show ads in your website so let me show you the fast method so let's upload an image here so what i can do is click on here select image so let me just upload a banner image from my computer and here it is i have uploaded a blue host banner images to my website so let me just set up the alt text for the banner image blue host add now let me just click on the huge file here and you can set the name like blue host banner or you can set the ad name as different like that and you can use the target url so i'm gonna use the bluehost affiliate link so what i can do is i will go to pretty links and let me just open it in a new tab and i can search for bluehost so i have already covered a video about pretty links so you can also watch that video how to manage your affiliate links in wordpress so let me just search for the bluehost here and what i can do is i will copy the pretty link from here and i will set it as target url so whenever someone click on the bluehost banner it will redirect to the affiliate link of the bluehost you can open it as a new tab and you can set it as sponsor tag here and here is the placement where you want to place the ad either you can place the ad in before post after post or you can place it like inside post or you can show it as a pop-up or you can set it as sticky like top sticky or bottom sticky or sidebar sticky so here you will get a lot of options so let me just select this option after post here and let's click on save here and as you can see that our ad placement is done so let me just go to the front end and let's open a post here now let me just scroll down and here you can see that the ad is placed after the blog post and you can change the position here you can see all the created ads in the third section ads so here you can edit the ad if you want now scroll down here and you can also place the ad in multiple places just click on add new places here and let me just select this option inside post and scroll down here and here you can see two options in the middle of the post or after x paragraph so let me just select after x paragraph and let me just select after third paragraph so it will show the ad after the third paragraph now let's click on save here all right now the code is saved let me just open a different post from here so let me just select this post here and let me just scroll down and as you can see that the same ad is showing after the third paragraph instead of showing at the end of the blog post so you can adjust the placement from here so let's create a different ad unit so i will click on new ad here and here let me just add a google adsense code so i will select the google adsense here and i can name it like before post add like this and let me just go to the adsense dashboard and under the ad section click on buy ad unit and here you can select the display ad unit and you can set the name of the ad unit 
and set a responsive add size and let's create a add unit so as i have already created add unit let me just select a add unit here so what i can do is i will select the add unit from here post add one so i will click on get code here and i will copy the code snippet from this and let's go to the wordpress dashboard and let me just paste the code like this and let me just scroll down and let me just select a position so what i can do is i will click on add new place and here i will select this option before post and i will click on save here now as i am using the wordfence plugin so i need to allow this action okay let me just refresh this page all right now the add code is saved let me just go to the front end and let me open a different post from here so let me just select this post here and here as you can see that the ad will show at the very beginning of this blog post so it will take some time to show the ads so we need to wait for some time so let me just open a different post here and as you can see that the adsense ad is showing at the beginning of the blog post so in this way we can get different ad position you can create multiple ad unit easily so let's click on add new ad here and here you can select the google adsense here set the ad name and paste the ad code and here you can click on add new places here and you can insert sticky ad you can insert pop up ads or you can use the short code to sort the ads or you can use the between post ad so this plugin has some limited options but if you are a beginner then you can use this plugin so the user interface is quite simple but if you want to get advanced feature then i recommend you to go for the ad inserter plugin but if you want to keep it simple then you can use this plugin as well and you can see a detailed analytics of your adsense code so let me just go to the analytics here and as you can see that it will show the total number of ads and it will show the total number of ad views and total number of ads clicks and here you can see this option blue host banner like you can see the total number of clicks here and here you can see the adsense ad unit and here you can see the views on it so it will show it analytics as well so you can use the ad foxly plugin if you want to simplify the ad placement in wordpress and if you want to get more features then i recommend you to watch the ad inserter plugin tutorial so ad inserter plugin will give you more options to customize the ad further you can also use this plugin to insert ad.txt file to your wordpress website so all you have to do is go to the settings here and here you will see this option add.txt and you can paste your add.txt content here and click on save and you can also enable or disable the analytics from here and you can also add your facebook pixel here so here you can also enable top navigation bar or you can see different options like you can hide the ads from 404 error pages so here this is the basic overview of this plugin and here you will get more options if you upgrade it to the premium plan in premium plan you will get the options like ads geolocation filtering display ads by days and hours and you can set maximum views per one users per ad you can preview ad by secret token so here you will get some additional features in the premium plan which is just 2.5 dollar per month if you build annually so this is a good plugin that you can consider if you are a beginner in wordpress then you can use the ad foxy plugin and if you want to get more features then i recommend you to use the ad inserter plugin i have already made a detailed video about this plugin so you can check that out and if you found this video helpful then make sure to hit the like button and if you have any doubt regarding this plugin then you can ask me in the comment section and i will see you in the next video thank you